today we will study about excretion now in general terms you all know excretion is the removal of waste products now if we have to define it properly then excretion is a biological process by which an organism gets rid of toxic waste products of metabolism now what will happen if these waste products are not removed of course they will cause harm to our body the it will hamper the proper growth of body and the functions of the body also yes the functions of the body will not take place properly now besides excretion there is another process that occurs in living beings that is osmoregulation osmoregulation is a process that maintains the amount of water and the ionic balance in the body fluids now whenever a biochemical reaction occurs in our body yes the salt and water content may increase or decrease that is when this process comes into being a constant osmotic condition is maintained by the regulation of water content and solute concentration particularly sodium and potassium excretion it removes the byproducts of metabolism thus it protects the body from excess of toxic waste then osmoregulation it this process it maintains the osmotic pressure of body fluids yes it protects the body from adverse osmotic conditions present in the external environment okay now we come to excretory organs in different organisms now in case of unicellular organism it takes place through their body surface by the process of diffusion then in case of flatworms like tapeworm it takes place through flame cells in case of annelids that is in case of leech earthworm it takes place through nephridia then in crustaceans like crabs lobster shrimps the excretory organ is green glands in case of insects that is in case of cockroaches the excretory organ is malpighian tubules in case of molluscs they have kidneys as their excretory organ in case of vertebrates like us yes the excretory organ is kidney okay now various excretory products in animals are like you no know, water carbon dioxide during respiration mineral salts like sodium chloride nitrogenous materials like urea uric acid creatinine and bile pigments now excretion in human beings takes place through a uh, through the excretory or the urinary system now this excretory or urinary system consists of a pair of kidneys a pair of ureters urinary bladder and a urethra and now tomorrow we will be studying more about this urinary system in detail in case any doubts do let me know thank you